Well, parents, we don't like to think about our children getting hurt, but it happens. Would you know what to do if a scorpion or bee stings him or if she burns her hand while making mac and cheese? Well, here to show us how to assemble a first aid kit for the home that is both kid and pet friendly is Trudy Thompson Rice. She's a registered nurse for the American Red Cross. So great to see you. Thank you. And there's new things that are in our first aid kits today than, you know, years ago. There so are. we'll talk about that, but you say, let's just start with having a first aid kit to begin with. Why is that so important? Have your materials all put together, have one in your car, have one in your home, know where everything is, know where the band-aids are, know where the scissors are, all those kinds of things, and have a credit card in that. Uh, and see, these are the two newest things that we talked about. A credit card, you know, this is a different type of a first aid kit. A credit card and a cell phone are probably two of the newest items. What could a credit card be used for? You need to have a credit card. Use an old one that you don't need anymore because if your child has a bee sting and there's a stinger left in the wound, use a credit card to scrape it out doesn't hurt the child, you scrape it out, pull it up, and then use your tweezers to, to remove it. To pull it out. So we want to get that stinger out of there right, right away. And right. what could the, the phone, obviously 911 if we needed it, Absolutely. but what else could the phone be used for? Red Cross has a series of apps that are free. There is one for first aid that is excellent. As a nurse, I was skeptical that any app could really give you much information on uh, first aid, but I tell you, it, it does. And the, the information that it's got is Anything from bee stings to mm -hmm. burns. Yeah. What is that app? It's called the Red Cross First Aid app. Oh, there app. it is. Okay, so now we got it up. Okay, so right. it's, it's the, and it's free. It's free. It's available at your app store, whether you're Android or iPhone, and it's also available at redcross.org. So how do we go about as assembling a pretty inexpensive first aid kit? Here's what you need to do. Think about your family, and it's important for parents because children grow and change. What's appropriate for a baby is different for an elderly person. So think about the people you are responsible for, including your pets, and assemble the items you would need in an emergency for that family member. Gloves are always a good thing. Tape, always a good thing. A cold pack, perfect. Keep your cold pack in the freezer, mm -hmm. though. Don't keep it in your first aid kit. Okay, obviously, because it won't be cold. <laughs> exactly. A bag of frozen peas is a perfect cold pack. So rice is what we hear oftentimes, and that's when the cold pack would come into you. So what is Absolutely. rice? Absolutely. Rice is rest for an injured joint or an injured limb. Rice, ice it, and then compress it if it is bleeding, and then also you want to leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Elevate it and leave it alone. Watch it, see what happens. And so many parents, we panic. We panic, right. our kids are hurt. We want to get them help immediately and we dial 911, but a lot of times you say we can do this ourselves. You know, good judgment. You know your kid. You know when your kid is really in pain and when they are just upset. So watch your child, know your child, and then use your head. You are the best first aider for your kid. And know the poison control number close to you. If you get uh, something you're not sure about, call poison control yeah, and they it, can walk you through it. Make it one of your favorites because my daughter had a scorpion uh, sting uh, once and I didn't know what to do. Right. And, and, you know, they are so helpful. They call you back even. They do. To check up on <laughs> I know. Your child. Who does that anymore? Right. Who does yeah. that? Okay. We were, we were talking about some myths earlier in the show. Okay. Nosebleed. We always think do this. Is that right? Everybody wants to do that with a nosebleed. It's the wrong thing to do. Pinch just below the bony prominence of the nose, the soft portion, lean forward. A child doesn't want to do that. Their instinct is to, to lean back, but lean forward. That will help it to clot and keep the pressure on. Don't let it off too quickly because then it will just bleed again and you'll have to start all over. So keep it on. Divert the child, entertain them with something. Use the old cell phone to keep right. the kid entertained right. and they'll forget about the awkward position they're in. Okay, we burn ourselves uh, on the stove. We heard butter, shaving cream. Is that the thing to do? No. Water. Cool water. Cool the, the burned portion under a running stream of cool water for about 10 minutes or even Plunge it into a cup with an ice cube in it if it's a finger. And do not put anything like butter or shaving cream on it. What you want to do if it is blistered or uh, looks like a third degree burn, certainly get to an ER. But uh, just for discomfort, put a plastic bag over it. Keep oh the goodness. air away from it. Well, Terry and I were talking about this, those old wives' tales at the door. I thought butter worked on everything. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Cross, the Red Cross offers CPR and first aid training courses to register. Visit redcross.org slash take a class or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. And you can read this first aid article in its entirety in Arizona Parenting uh, Magazine this month's issue, azparenting.com.